Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Laura with Stitching with Laura. How's everybody doing? I hope everybody's having a great day. Well, today is Tuesday, May 31st. It's the last day of May. My goodness. And this is my 126th floss tube. And it's 9.13 in the morning and we're having English breakfast tea by by Bigelow. I petted the dog and I have a hair. I'm so sorry. That was gross. Yeah. She's right here. She's just sitting here with all her stuffies. Yeah. Seriously. It's going to be one of those days, huh? Okay. Yeah. So what happened last week? Well, it was kind of busy, but not busy and I guess it just all gave me something to do we had a few things I did get some stitchy kindness and I got some beautiful threads from my friend Wendy there's two of them and I'll show them a little bit later and then these little ones this is the summer collection, and the one I showed you before is the fall collection. So I'm keeping them all together because I'll show you later. Yeah. So, you know, for all that went on, and I was taking care of my daughter. She's getting a little bit better. I don't know if she goes to the doctor today, so we'll find out when we find out, right? But, yeah, she's been able to get up and move around a little bit and kind of force herself to do things and yeah so we'll see we had that going on and in between all that I did seven reviews I think I had a review for every day since Tuesday yeah some of those days I had two reviews so yeah it's been that kind of a week but for all of that, out of all those reviews, I only had one start that was within those reviews. So it's getting better. I just can't start all the things. I just have to put them in a pile and say, that's, you know, what I really truly want in my heart, want to start, you know, because, yeah, we need to back off just. Just a little bit. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. So, let's see what else happened. I can't remember. I mean, it it's just like, it was pretty sporadic, just the way things were going. So, in no particular order, I will show you what I either started or worked on. This was from VIP CrossFit. And I started this one. So I guess I had two starts, maybe. Maybe. Possibly three. But for me, that's pretty good. Let's see, what did we get done on this? Not too terribly much. Just right in here. And that's all I really had time for. And I was busy running up and down the road and taking care of my daughter and, you know, taking care of, taking, I had to babysit the grandkids, you know, for just that one day. So, yeah, we, we didn't have much time to work on anything. And when I was not doing a video, I, you know, like, Tuesday and Wednesday are going to be a wash all summer long. I realize that because yesterday was absolutely crazy because it was Memorial Day, you know, the holiday that everybody takes off. You know, I mean, it's a national holiday. So, yeah, we had people the whole time I was there. Yeah, it, it was awesome. Then I started... I think it was this last week this one and 
It was from Biggest Craft. It was part two in part two of my review for them. So I made a little bit of progress. I think I was just picking up things and if it looked easy, you know, I would just stitch that area. So, yeah. Oh, now I got thread everywhere. Hang on. So, I made a little more progress on this. But I was just working on that little emblem. Oh, let me do this. Sorry, my bad. I forget. There you go. So, yeah. We're getting there. Just one silly thing at a time. Yeah. <coughs> Trying. Some days, the thread just wants to be everywhere. Then, I needed something different to do and different to look at because, oh, I had jammed something down in my finger, so it wasn't something I could do was cross stitch. Now I'll try to hold this up. But we're going across it. Well, if I could just get a hold of the paper. Oh well, hell with it. I got all this done to here and then I'm starting on here of the geisha that I got from my friend Jill in the UK. So, yeah, I about made my way across and it's just something I can do that doesn't hurt this or doesn't hurt that and you know if I don't do it for long long periods of time so yeah and then I'm trying to see oh I can not remember what I put in there so then I got out ooh, needle 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 alert needle alert and thread Go away. So I worked a little bit on my embroidery, just trying to finish up those two red flowers. And it's just, and this material is so stiff, that wasn't working, so that's why I went to the diamond painting. But, yeah. So I might have worked maybe two hours on the diamond painting this week. Just, I don't know. I knew that yesterday was coming and it was going to be busy, but... So, and I was waiting for things to come in. I just, I do that. You know, I'll just pick up some weird obsolete thing and just stitch on it until I can't see straight just because I have to stitch. So, it's fairly good. It kind of tastes like a combination of Earl Grey and, and my other English breakfast tea that um, Jill sent me. I think it's some kind of thing, some Yorkshire something blend of of tea from the UK. Let's see. Oh, yep. Yeah. And then, oh dear, I don't. Oh, this came from F D O B Y. And I'll try to get the the picture out of there. This one, and I didn't know how it was going to look when it was stitched. I mean, this is a god-awful, horrible picture of this. But I wanted to see what it was going to look like. And I stitched on it probably two times. And I got trying. Everything's shaped weird. So I'm working on the bridge, and then there's some foliage we'll call it you know like right up in here so I was trying to see how it was going to look but I think it's going to be okay I really do you know once it gets to be a little bit more so yeah I like that and it's not very big it's so teeny tiny compared to all the rest I didn't work on I don't think any big big projects this last week it was just okay what can I grab and put a few stitches in because it's it's kind of like a neurosis if you will with me I just have to stitch on something and oh this is easy this is here it's not like I'm not surrounded by 10,000 objects because I totally am but I think I don't think I started this but I'm yeah well 
This came from uh, Paint Some Way. I don't know if I did this this week or last. So, it was just sitting there. And it's... Oh, it might help if I show you the picture. I love this. I think that is just so beautiful. My grandmother used to have a picture in her bedroom. And it was like maybe magazine size. So, what is that? A little bit bigger than 8 by 10 But it was a picture of a vase... And the vase, it seems like it was green. It had kind of a, a dark, mustardy-looking background. And it was something that she had cut out of the magazine and thought it looked really good. So, yeah, who knows where that all came from. But she had that picture for years in her, her bedroom. But that's what this reminds me of. So, I'll keep working on it. I, I, I just, I can't get... I got 10,000 starts. I'm, I have totally, totally lost track of what the heck I've been doing. Now, I can't show you the picture of this because I don't have it here. Right under, I'm looking underneath my feet or anything. So, you know I was working on this and it's on a 16 count heritage from Picture This Plus. So, I actually finished it. And there is my little bird with his little basket. And that's as much, and it's part of another thing within this. Hang on. No, it's not that. Here we go. It's part of another picture. I didn't think I had it, so hang tight. Let me see. But I just saw that, and I thought, well, I can do just that, you know, and go on. It's part of, it's, this is the original. And I just use my own colors, so, yeah. And made it my own. And it's, I don't know, you can't tell, but that's like the section I took. I just didn't do the top or the bottom. And I have this started in DMC uh, on something else. I don't have it right this second. But it has so it they make it into a drum. I don't think. Let me look. I'm sorry. After I said that, I was going to say they don't have. No, there's not a picture of it fully, you know laying down flat at all. So I've gotten up to the bird done on this page of the pattern. So, yeah. So I finished that Sunday night, maybe? Yeah. And there's not too much to it, but I just wanted to use a variety of the sulky thread, so I'm quite happy that that got all done. So I'm just going to put it back into my, I have three little blackbird things and my, I have one of these with the material that can make small things. I have several pieces of um, the picture, this plus ones. So then I said, well, it's like seven o'clock. I can start something else, right? And I wanted to use Oh, that's The Sewing Club is the name of that book from Blackbird. And this is Winds of Autumn. And this is what it's supposed to look like, you know, if you use the called four threads. Well, I got to looking at that, and I went, huh, I could use that. And then I could put a whole bunch of variety. I mean, these, they always pick muted colors. That's just their, their game. I mean, as far as that goes. And it makes it look primitive. But, once again, I wanted to do it my way. And, uh, you know, make it my own. So, again, of course, I have to take it out of here. And I thought, so here comes the sulky thread. So, do you see how those, that's all kind of blendy colored? Well, I used... The dark cocoa, or dark brown, it's real dark brown, 
like 3371, but in sulky. For all of this that comes down around and up, and then I'll do each one of these little flowers in a different bright fall, woo, fall type color. Make sense? So it'll evolve, and let me show you where I got it so far. If I can get it out. These are those hoops that I absolutely love. Got them from Amazon. I think there was like six or eight of them in a deal, but they have a screw at the top. You unscrew it, and it has an edge, and when you put the material over it, you put this on top of it, and it has, oh crap, it has a lip that fits, or not a lip, yeah, an edge that fits into the lip, you know, and then you screw it. Oh my God, I forgot. I'm, it's down there somewhere. I'll get it in a minute. Then you screw it up and it stays tight. Your material does not shift. And it's the perfect size for me. It's like a, I don't think it's an eight inch. I think it's like a six inch, but I think they only come one way. I don't think they come bigger, you know, like in a set. They may, I don't know. Got it on Amazon. I don't even know if I could find the, you know, the link to it, but these are the best things that I ever bought. And I think I bought two full sets so that, you know, I can either leave it on or move it around, but I've been shifting them left and right. Anyway, let me get it folded here. I know, it's, it's something else. All right, so this is... 16 count. I'm trying not to say 11 count. This is 16 count opal from Picture This Plus and it's kind of a I don't know what like a pale terracotta that's been washed out so to speak. But yeah. So I'm almost up to the top and it's not going to be any bigger than that. And there's a little house, and then there's some alphabets or whatever. But I'm just going to make it all in bright, not bright, dark colors. Does that make sense? Like a darker red or the bright, you know, colors. Just make it really colorful. Not so, blah. I don't know. I love Blackbird designs, but sometimes I'm not that primitive person. I, I... I don't like that washed out look because, you know, I'm a color girl. I'm a color girl. Got to have the color and it keeps me going, you know. So, that's all we got done. But that's that dark cocoa brown. And I think it's going to look good on this, this fabric. And there's probably a good yard of this. Because this is the fabric that I bought to do, was it Ann Thomas by Hands Across the Sea? I think her name is Ann Thomas. It's the one with the bird and the flowers and the birds in the middle. And it, it's like a pigeon or something. I don't know. Oh, my gosh. No. I love you, Nicola. Nicola. But, damn, no. Every third stitch is another stitch. And it's like, no. It, it's too hard to follow for my little tiny brain. So, yeah. Because... I worked on it probably a good month, and this is all I got done of that. Because that rose right there was a pain in the ass. Then I found out another reason why I quit was there's wording. Like, once you get past all this, there's wording, and it's all over one. It didn't even dawn on me. Oh, I can do that on Ada. No, you can't. So it needed to be on something else. So... Yeah, maybe another day, another time when I have, when my brain's not so fried. Yeah, I, or, yeah, I can deal with it, but God, no, it's, ugh. And I love that pattern. Like I said, I'm going to take every one of them patterns that I just absolutely love. I'm going to buy 900 frames and just throw them on the wall because Laura will never get those stitched. Just, you know. No. So, yeah. This is my start. So, I actually finished something 
in May that I think I started in May. I don't know. But it didn't take too long to do that bird. I mean, it was like two, possibly three weeks. So I don't know how long this is going to take, but, you know, that's not the point. It's just I like stitching with the sulky, and I like that sulky. God, I like it on Ada and even Weave. You know, the Lagana, that mushroom a lot. Mushroom Lagana is going to be my go-to. 28 count, yeah, for even weave. Because I like linen, but I don't know. It's kind of wishy-washy, if you will. Where even weave, everything is consistent. And for me, that's really good. I love the way it feels to stitch on it, but it it's easy to get off count. Does that make sense? I don't know. But I really like it. And if I was going to suggest that anybody start on even weave, use a Lagana or an even weave because it's a consistent lines, you know, and I like the way it, it looks. I've got, God, probably six or seven projects on even weave started. There are some projects that I can't get it. Like inspiration by Rosewood Manor. Yeah, not happening. It has, if you like back stitching, there's your game. It's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And Ellen from Ellen's Power Hour, she did it. Yeah, well, she she sews everything. Or I should say stitches everything, you know. And I see her finish it, so I think it's possible. I don't know. I I may get a different piece of fabric for that and do it. See, I'm, I'm okay if I'm doing back stitching on Ada. It's easier for my brain to comprehend what it is. But when I do it on even weave, it's like, oh, holy hell, no. Mm -mm. Can't. I just can't. And that thing is full of back stitching because it's nothing... The border is like that wide, comes all the way down, all the way down, all the way around. And it's all like flowers. It looks like when you look at it, flowers all, I don't have it right here. Helter Skelter. And then there's vines everywhere to, you know, hold all the flowers together. It's beautiful. It's absolutely stunning. And then there's this freaking house in the middle and... The only one over one part is like there's little people like under like they're in the yard of the house if you will in that little squared out part in the center cuz 99% of that son of a gun is is the border. If you could live through the border, it's like doing a Jeanette Douglas or who's that other one? Oh, I can't think. I think it's There's another lady, and everybody's always up about her. She's, it's just complicated, okay? Enough said about that, but yeah. So, I will continue to work on this in June, and we'll see how far we get, and whatever. But, I'm just making my colors up as I go along. I may have, may have a multicolored house. Who knows? But, yeah. And that's what I like about, I mean, they're, the patterns in Blackbird are not difficult. There are sometimes there's like Algerian eye or something. And there's I was there was another one that I wanted to start, but I went like no. Uh, and but see that Iger Algerian eye, I can't get it to look like it's supposed to. So yeah, we'll just pass on that one because it's in the whole border. But usually it's not complicated. You know, I mean, I'm trying to pick out the simplest patterns where. Oh, I might learn a new stitch, but not every fourth thing that I do on that. I don't. I don't feel that need in me to learn new stitches. It doesn't bother me at all. Go right ahead, carry on, people. Cause I'm. I'm happy just cross stitching. Yeah, I can do a French knot here, or I can do a little bit of back stitch. 
I don't have to know all the information or whatever. Yeah. I won't be picking up any sampler projects that, like, it has bands and you do different stitches. That won't even happen. No, because I'd be frustrated in the first 20 minutes. So, we're done. I want something when I stitch. This is me personally. Not everybody else. I know it's comforting me comforting to me not have to think. All I have to do is cross stitch. Oh, a little back stitch. Okay, a couple here, a couple there. No big deal. But if I have to think too hard, we're done. I it's not a game I do not want to play. Mm -mm. No. Are they beautiful? Yes, they are. Do I want to learn hard danger? Not even happening. But you know, because my problem would be that you'd spend a fortune on the material and then I'd screw it up. It's like sewing class all over again where, okay, we're stitching on cotton and then all of a sudden we're going to stitch on satin. Ah! No, not happening. <coughs> <coughs> because I'm paranoid of, of screwing it up. So this is good for me. This is therapeutic for me. We found what we like. So, oh, she moved all the way over to the corner. How funny. But that, folks, is everything that went on last week. I mean, it sounds like a lot, and I blabbered on probably for a very long time, and I'm sorry. So, oh, before I forget, we are not having extravaganza this next week at all. So, um, I will keep you informed if we do extravaganza like after next week's floss tube, I'll let you know where that's at and what we're doing. So, yeah. Because I may have company and in the next two weeks, so we're just kind of being wishy-washy, okay? So, no extravaganza this week. I'll let you know if we're having it next week. Fair? So, yeah. Other than that, I think that's about it, guys. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and please hit the bell. That way you'll know when my next video comes out. Stay safe, stay healthy. We'll see you next time. God bless. Bye-bye.